Loosen hard clay soil fast simple winter trick for healthier crops. Clay soil is one of the most difficult challenges for gardeners. It clings to boots like glue after rain, hardens into solid slabs under the sun, and suffocates roots by holding too much water while still managing to dry out on the surface. For many, this stubborn soil feels like a curse, making planting and digging a miserable task. Yet with the right approach, clay can be transformed into a loose, fertile, and living ground that nourishes crops. The secret lies in working with nature rather than against it, using organic matter, microorganisms, and the passage of time to unlock the soil's hidden potential. This guide, brought to you by Soil and Crop Central, shows how you can turn heavy clay into crumbly, fertile soil over the winter and enjoy healthier, stronger plants by spring. Clay particles are extremely fine, which means they pack tightly together. This dense structure prevents air from circulating and slows down drainage. After rain, clay turns into sticky mud that swallows tools and shoes. Once it dries, it bakes into a hard crust with deep cracks, making it almost impossible for tender roots to push through. Water stagnates in some spots, while other areas dry out quickly, creating erratic growing conditions. You know, buying truckloads of new soil or adding sand often seems like the only option. But honestly, both are just short-term solutions. Sand disappears after a few seasons, and imported soil quickly loses its fertility. To truly loosen clay, you really need to rebuild it from the inside. The most reliable way to change clay is by feeding it with plant residues in autumn. Unlike those quick fixes, organic matter actually restructures soil gradually, binding particles into loose aggregates that let air and water move freely. By spring, the soil becomes crumbly and breathable, making it so much easier to dig and a whole lot healthier for your crops. The timing is, well, crucial. Autumn is the season when air stays warm enough for natural decomposition, but the pace is steady rather than too fast. See, summer heat burns organic matter, while winter cold almost brings the process to a halt. By preparing beds in fall, you allow organic residues to break down at the perfect rhythm, forming humus that transforms clay into fertile earth. Start by gathering every available residue. Grass clippings, vegetable tops, fallen leaves and weeds are all valuable resources that many gardeners waste or burn. Instead of discarding them, spread them directly over your beds. The layer should be between 10 and 12 centimeters thick. This is not just a suggestion, it is the key measurement for success. A thinner layer does not produce noticeable change, while a thicker one may rot without air circulation. Once the residues are laid down, sprinkle wood ash evenly across the surface. Use half a glass of ash for every square meter. Ash plays two vital roles. It lowers acidity, which clay soils often suffer from, and it enriches the ground with potassium, an essential nutrient for strong root growth. While organic residues decompose naturally, their transformation can actually be sped up by adding beneficial microorganisms. To do this, you'll want to prepare a solution by diluting 10 to 20 milliliters of a microbial preparation in 10 liters of water. This amount is enough to cover an area of 8 to 10 square meters. Just water the mulch evenly with this mixture. Microorganisms work inside the soil to break down plant matter faster. They unlock nutrients, improve soil texture, and create an environment where roots really thrive. Their activity also boosts the population of earthworms who are the natural engineers of fertile soil. After watering, cover the beds with a breathable fabric such as black spun bond with a density of 30 grams per square meter. This cover lets air and moisture pass through while protecting the residues underneath. It creates an ideal microclimate for decomposition, keeping conditions balanced throughout autumn and winter. Be sure to secure the edges with bricks or boards to keep the cover from blowing away. Even with a cover, the mulch layer requires attention. If several dry days follow one another, gently moisten the residues to keep decomposition active. The goal is to maintain even conditions, neither soggy nor bone dry. By spring, the transformation will be visible. The residues will have turned into dark, crumbly soil filled with life. When the cover is removed, 
The difference is dramatic. The spade sinks easily into soil that was once hard as rock. Water now penetrates rather than puddling on the surface. Roots grow freely, and earthworms abound, sometimes 80 per square meter, compared to just one or two before. These worms process organic matter into humus, producing one of the best natural fertilizers possible. Moisture also lasts longer in this improved soil, which reduces the need for frequent watering. You know, a thick layer of decomposed mulch can really work wonders. Suppressing weeds and cutting them back by, wow, 60 to 70 percent. Instead of spending all your time weeding, you'll just need some occasional light maintenance. And the best part? All of this is achieved without having to buy manure, those expensive fertilizers, or truckloads of soil. Clay soil, well, it really responds best to balance. If you lay residues too thickly without adding some ash, you can actually smother the soil, and that leaves behind a soggy, kind of foul-smelling layer. And if you add only sand without any organic matter, you end up creating a crust that just makes the problem worse. So, the lesson here is pretty clear. Clay improves only when organic matter, air, and just a little bit of mineral support all come together in the right proportions. Beyond the main method, you can boost results with a few complementary practices. Sowing green manure crops such as mustard, oats, or phacelia in autumn is particularly effective. Their roots penetrate clay, loosening it further and adding biomass when incorporated into the soil in spring. Mustard even has the added benefit of deterring pests naturally. Fallen leaves, often discarded, also hold great value. Packed into shallow pits and lightly covered with soil, they transform into rich leaf mold by spring. Mixing this with clay makes the ground lighter and more fertile. Different crops benefit from tailored mulch thickness. Tomatoes and peppers appreciate a slightly thicker layer to maintain moisture, while root vegetables like radishes and carrots perform better under thinner mulch to avoid excessive dampness. Adjusting in this way helps each crop thrive in its preferred conditions. Unlike sand or purchased soil, which offer only seasonal relief, organic matter builds fertility that lasts for decades. Humus accumulates over the years, continually improving soil texture, water balance, and nutrient availability. With one investment of effort in autumn, you gain long-term results. Each passing season leaves the soil richer, more alive, and easier to work. Transforming clay soil is not about force, it is about guiding nature. Collect organic residues in autumn, spread them in the right thickness, enrich them with ash, activate decomposition with microorganisms, and protect them with a breathable cover. By spring, your heavy clay will be soft, dark, and teeming with life. This method is simple, affordable, and effective anywhere, regardless of climate or garden size. It requires no expensive inputs and offers benefits that honestly compound year after year. At Soil and Crop Central, we believe gardening should be both productive and enjoyable. If you are ready to leave behind heavy, unyielding clay and welcome soil that breathes, nourishes, and supports your crops, start this method on just one bed this autumn. By spring, you will see the difference. For more timeless, practical, and effective gardening methods, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central, share this guide with fellow growers, and join us in making gardens more fertile, abundant, and rewarding.